A while back, I made a tutorial to show you how to uninstall system apps with root access using a popular application called SDMade. This has been a well-known application among the Android community for many years now, but it hasn't received as many updates as it should have, and now there are some compatibility issues with some of the newer smartphones. See, one complaint I had in the previous tutorial about the application was it not actually uninstalling the app or deleting any of its app data. Now, the reason this happens with SDMade is because it has issues modifying the data on these super partitions. It's these more modern smartphones that are equipped with these super partitions. So if you're having issues uninstalling a system app with SDMade, it's likely because your device is using one of these dynamic super partitions. So today I want to show you a new free and open source application called dbloater that hopes to fill in the gap left behind by many other root uninstaller applications for Android. Now this application can be downloaded from the Play Store for a buck, but you can also download it for free from other sources like FDroid and GitHub. I'll be linking to the app's GitHub page and include a download link for the application itself in the video description below. So not only does this require root access in order to work, but you also need to have Magisk installed as it uses a Magisk module. So once we have downloaded and installed the dbloater application, we're going to go ahead and open it up. It's going to ask for super user access. So once we grant that, then we're going to see it refresh our app list and we can then go through and uninstall some of the apps we have. So let's say we wanted to get rid of YouTube music. We're going to go into that app. We'll just search for music in this case. And we can see the YouTube music app is right here. And we have a trash can remove button right next to it. Now we can't do anything by actually tapping on the app, but we can remove it by tapping on that remove button and then tapping uninstall. We're going to confirm. And now we know that it has been completely uninstalled for us. So let's go back into the dbloater app. And let's say I wanted to get rid of Google Maps as well. So again, we search for the app we want. We find it, make sure it has a trash can and remove button next to it. We tap it, choose to uninstall and confirm. Now again, this application uses Magisk and a Magisk module. So even though we still have YouTube music and maps here, we then need to restart the phone. This is just as if we had installed a Magisk module. We need to restart the phone in order for that module to become active. So now whenever we boot the phone back up, we can go ahead and open up the app drawer. We can see that the YouTube music app is certainly gone. The same with our Google Maps application as well. And this is going to be able to work for all of the applications that you see listed in the dbloater application. We can get a list of our apps from here. And again, as another example, let's say we wanted to get rid of the recorder app. We 
We're going to go into debloater, search for record. We're going to remove and then do a full restart. Now, in case you accidentally remove something important, remember that this is being done systemlessly. So even if you notice that your phone is in a boot loop, you should be able to boot into a recovery such as TWRP and then access the data slash ADB slash modules slash debloater folder and just delete that entire folder. So you can see now that we have booted back up, now the recorder application has been uninstalled. Now you can find that folder tree in the GitHub page as well. And all that's gonna do is it's going to uninstall the Magisk modules that we did, which again, since it's done systemlessly, means that your phone will be able to boot back up. And the same can be done by other means of uninstalling or disabling Magisk modules. Pretty sure I've done a tutorial previously showing you how to disable those if you have run into a boot loop. And I'll be including a link to that tutorial in the video description as well. So this is a nice little free, again, an open source application for anyone who's wanting to uninstall and delete system apps or pre-installed applications on Android. This will help you remove them from either the, either the system partition, the vendor partition, or the product directories, thanks to the super partitions that Android now has on modern smartphones.